On behalf of the entire Global Edge team, I welcome you, sir. I'm sure the students are eager to hear from you, sir, and curious to know, how were you as a student? How was your childhood and school days? Uh, good morning, everyone. Namaskar to everyone. Jahil. Uh, you know, even though the, I'll be uh, very honest, uh, apart from the organizing team to everyone else also, that the, the format of this entire discussion was already told to me. Uh, and I was kind of thick, I will go over this format. But the moment it started with Padma Pani Acharya's name and Mrs. Padma Pani Acharya and his sister on the screen, I'm finding it very difficult to talk about and think about anything else apart from them and him. So, uh, when he is there, nobody else should be actually discussed and spoken. But then, um, uh, yeah, you asked me a question. It's very difficult like, to talk about anything, anybody else, anybody. And the last of all, me, my, me and my about me. So it's very difficult for me to do that. But yeah, now that uh, so many people are there and the question must have been thought about, like, I speak about myself. But again, I'll reiterate, it's very difficult <laughs> to speak about myself and my life and anything about me. It has to, it should be, and it should have been always Acharya. I didn't understand it earlier, but now that it is on and his story was told and Mrs. Acharya is there, so I'm getting a bit of emotional. Yeah, but as a, I'll come back to uh, the question that you told. Yeah, as a child, I was a pretty bright student. Uh, till the time, I'll be very honest and um, say that once I uh, stepped into adolescence, you know, class 9, 10th and 11th, that's uh, not 9th, 10th and 11th and beyond, I start, slightly started wavering uh, whatever, uh, you know, one goes and mix. I would uh, admit that, yeah, a few mistakes that one did. And uh, that's the reason my dad, I'm so grateful to him for taking the tough decision. At that time, it appeared to me that it was, he's being uh, very harsh on me. But then he was very blunt and he, he called a spade a spade and he told me that, that son, you are not going the right way. So you need to, you know, get out of, I don't mind. You know, we all had dreams uh, since the childhood. My father, me and my entire family used to dream together about myself. Ye banega, wo banega, doctor, banega, engineer, banega, like everybody. But he told, he told that I, those dreams are not important. Uh, for me, it is important that you become a good human being. I don't mind what, whatever you become. Even if you become a chaprasi, that's fine. But you need to become a good human being. And the way you are going right now in the company that you're keeping is not good. So you need to, you know, get out of this place and company. And that's how I, uh, with the qualification of being just a 12th pass, the best I could do is become an airman in the Indian Air Force. Those who are not uh, aware. So an airman is like equivalent to a sepoys in the Indian Army. And, but then once I, and he was so right, once I went uh, entered the Air Force and the training began, you know, and the real world, uh, I was faced by the real world. I was out of that company and the place uh, where I was faltering. So, you know, the better sense started prevailing. And then I started taking up those corrective steps. And uh, then I, as I was doing my job, uh, I was doing my duty. Earlier, I had the entire, you know, all the facilities, all the attention to study, a room to myself, mother to take care of me, like, but I wasn't like not good, uh, doing what I should have been done. But then once I started doing my job, I was living in a barrack. And once you, I, then I began studying, I completed my graduation. And then when I was living in my barrack, you know, barracks are disciplined, I'm Air Force ka hai, at 10 o'clock, the light should be off. And if you wanted to study again, so there was no place, but to go outside and sit under maybe the baranda light or even the street light, but you need to do that. So just everything, I had everything at my disposal to study. I didn't do what I should have been. But then I did that. I did my graduation. I then uh, completed the CDS and uh, joined the academy. And uh, here I am. So that's what has been in my life short. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So we all agree childhood days are the most cherished days of our life where we enjoy the little things. There's a quote that I read somewhere behind every young child who believes in himself is a parent who believed first. Thank you for sharing this. And I'm sure our parents will also understand that in the end, the most overwhelming key to a child's success is the positive involvement of parents. So as a child, we all idealize someone. Someone is our hero. So do you have someone who is a hero figure for you? And did it change as you grew up? Yeah, definitely. It did. The one constant hero that I had is with my dad. Uh, for all other things, uh, one thing I stood out, and not because he was my dad, there were people all around me, uh, his friends and colleagues. But for one thing, he stood out apart from others is his courage. You know, people today know me for uh, being brave and courageous and all those things. But let me tell you, I'm, I'm just nowhere around what he was. And uh, I, and I always used to, and that, that was a hidden desire probably my dad wanted me to be. Of all the qualities that my dad wanted me to, you know, imbibe, one of them was that he wanted me to be even more like he, uh, as per his uh, 
perception probably I was not up to his mark. Um, you know, I belong to Bihar and those days, no electricity, no, no roads, nothing, a rural background. And with my father, I used to live in the Air Force stations. So it was fine as far as the Air Force station is concerned. I was good enough and probably better than most of the people, even in the even in the field of being brave and courageous. But once we, whenever we went on a holiday or vacations to my village, and the moment we landed in our village, he wanted me to be as tough as you know, hardy and as courageous as the village boys were. And he he found he felt you know my he is not just up to that mark of those guys who are living in this village. You know, no, there was no electricity, so night was like no problem for them. And uh, so uh, that I always felt that he he feels he felt I wasn't. So that is what I kept on admiring. And he was pretty, pretty brave and courageous. You know, those unruly days of in you know, Bihar days when we used to go on a train. So even in the reserved compartment, if you have a reservation, you're starting in Bihar, there will be four or five hooligans who will come in and give tell you to please move out. You know, you have to stand up, I mean, we are sitting here and all. And he never ventured. My, 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 my mom used to be like holding him, what are you doing? And all, there would be seven, eight guys and he would just stand up. I mean, Kamal is, I mean, if you speak to me politely, fine. fine. But otherwise, you know, he never thought that there are eight or ten people. And he would just take on everyone. He says, there's nothing. So I used to be admiring, how many sahas, yeah, but yeah, that's the time. Uh, I used to join in in that uh, scuffle. <laughs> he was he expected me to be, and he didn't care of all those things. You know, you can't be scared. And the way he used to move around and take things and all those things. So that was always a benchmark of courage that he had. And even after I joined the army, probably he felt that uh, I, he he didn't communicate to me, but I felt that it's still I'm not measuring up to his expectations. It was only when I got shot. I, even though I, from the uh, army, I used to come back and tell him that, yeah, we did this operation, that operation. But he still, I could see in his eyes that probably, yeah, okay, I'm doing something. You know, but only when I got injured and uh, when he flew to Kashmir, Srinagar, he landed in the airport. He was received by my own men, you know. And from there on, probably in the entire route, he was being told by my men as to how I was in the operation. Saab to Darthani and all those stories. Then he met my CEO. He met my doctor and my senior. So what I mean to say is before he reached me in the ICU, he, he had gone through a whole gamut of people who told him about me. And uh, that's the reason when he came and uh, met me in the ICU, uh, his first words were that, Beta uh, brave So, so that is what it is. And uh, I could see that probably he's now thinking, he has lived to my expectations, you know, the kind of, Courage is man I wanted to be. So he is indeed one of those things. And that was a moment of redemption for me. Yeah, that was one. Every child looks up to live up to his expectations of his father. Uh, that is what it is. But then apart from them, you know, I'm, I'm not fixated. Yeah, you keep reading about great people like Vivekananda and all those things. And you keep idealizing them. But more than that, I would like to tell you one thing here. I've always had ideals. It doesn't always have to be great people who are, you know, this ke murtiyan lagi hai, jinki kahani batai jati hai. I've always had idols from me. Idols from, you know, all, all, when I was in the army or otherwise a teacher, a uh, friend of me, a friend who was there with me and who was even coming from a poorer background and the, the way he was studying and working. I used to say, yeah, dekho, how is he performing? Even today, when I was in the, even now, when I was in the army, there were men around me who lower in ranks, uh, Jaman. And at times I saw the kind of simplicity that Jaman held, the kind of courage that he had, you know. They were amazing people, amazing. I mean, in, in, if agar ap insaniyat ke paymane se na jaanche, then they were way, way high, high, higher than me. You know, once one can only aspire to be like those people. And I'm right now working in a hospital. Uh, when the COVID happened, I walked into that hospital. Everybody knows that I walked in voluntarily. But then they were. I took on. I was given the responsibility of housekeeping and patient care attendants. And they were ladies because their husbands had lost their jobs. So there were poor ladies who had never stepped out of their house. They were living in slums, and they walked out of that place. And entered that hospital when Corona was, you know, so scary that a kilometer with doom sunato dar lag raha tha. And those ladies, you know, ne kabi sari kela wa kuch bhi nahi pena tha. They were walking, and I was making them wear PPE kits and entered the rooms of the Corona warriors. And uh, she was doing it. So some of them were doing it so sincerely and handling those patients and all. And I was idealizing them. So they were my ideals, you know. कि अपने बच्चे का पेट भरना भरना है और यहाँ लोगों की सेवा करनी है। So ideals doesn't have to be always falling from the you know someone who on top sky पे आसमान से उतरेगा। आप अपने चारों तरफ देखिए शायद आपके सोसाइटी का चौकीदार होगा। Talk to him, you will probably find a life which is full of character and you know morality. So it's all around you. You don't have to look in the movies and the books. Yeah, they are there. 
बट दिवस दैट यू फाइंड अराउंड यू आर एक्चुअली रियल यू नो मूवीज भी ऑन बुक्स में थोड़ा बढ़ा चढ़ा के शायद बताया जाता है मेरा परिचय भी आपको दिया गया उसमें भी शायद थोड़ा बहुत कहीं आर्टिफिशियल होगा मुझे मेरे बारे में भी बता बढ़ा चढ़ा के शायद बताया गया होगा लेकिन जो आपके आस पड़ोस में आपके कारण जहाँ द प्लेस यू वर्क द प्लेस यू लिव वेर एवर यू गो यू मे फाइंड सम वन अक्रॉस when you so who are amazing amazing people i can keep giving examples that that that, that getting prolonged but yeah that's what it is yeah idols are there everywhere just look around children you will find inspiration everywhere yeah thank you thank you sir i completely agree with you that idols are everywhere and we have to imbibe values from them and we have to get inspired from them as rightly said true heroism is remarkably sober it is not the urge to surpass all others at whatever cost but the urge to serve others at whatever cost and we also believe that you are true hero in all senses sir can you share few anecdotes from life in the armed forces which had a long, lifelong impact on you now this is a very 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 difficult question because every other there's so many incidents and every incident that i quote i'll be actually doing injustice to the other ones yeah but since uh, but the most important most moved uh, the incident that moved me was uh, changed me forever uh, were two incidents um, both were about life and death the first one was when i came to know that uh, archi is no more and uh, i i went to see his dead body who is archi sir padma pani acharya major padma pani acharya jinki patni yahan par hai jinki behan yahan par hai So when I was told that when he came to know that I went to see his, uh, I took permission of my commanding officer and uh, went to see his body in the mortuary, of Srinagar Military Hospital. And uh, you know, I had before I had met uh, when I entered the mortuary, I had all those things that I'll go when I see his body, probably I'll salute and all those things. Uh, I'm not getting into the details of it, to the experience of it, but when I saw his body. uh when the drawer was i took out that drawer in which his body was there and i saw it he was so calm so peaceful and uh, no i i didn't feel that matlab wo bolte hai na koi mar gaya to kabhi kabhi bolte hai bechara ho gaya nahi 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 he was way way ahead i was i felt he was more far more fortunate he, he appeared his, his looks were like godly like look you know it appeared to me sakshat bhagwan lete pade mere samne and uh, he had because i knew him i had uh, so whatever he had thought of he he probably was like uh, he probably felt that i am looking at him uh, it appeared to me and he was giving that feeling like look i buddy i have achieved whatever i wanted and here i am i am ahead of you way way ahead and way above so uh, i have achieved whatever i wanted and uh, Yeah, there was a healthy thing. We because we trained together, so we were together. Yeah, even if you run, so who runs faster? Who reaches first? And in this race of uh, life and eternity, he went way ahead of me, very ahead of me. And uh, and uh, so that changed my life. But uh, yeah, when I came out of that mortuary again, whatever things I saw, that also bit uh, upset upset me because. Uh, i felt that uh, the world should have come to a stand still when i came out and i saw the world moving the way it was uh, i'm not talking of the people who were involved in the war obviously they'll go on carry on but the, the rest i felt you know we need to be more sensitive as a society and uh, that is one incident that moved me and uh, what moved me is uh, another great lady who's probably here is Uh, padma charulata acharya you know i was given the option there that the doctor when he the doctor who was in charge of the mortuary he told me that oh, he is your great friend it it appears i couldn't speak he told if you want you can go you know the, his battalion is still in the thick of war the, the, obviously they can't spare people from there so you want you can accompany the accompany his uh, body to his family and i almost agreed to that uh but it will be good if a friend accompanies the body to with the family i almost agreed to that and then, but then in front of my eyes came the face of a lady charulata acharya and uh, uh, i could not gather you all call me courageous but i could not gather even an iota of courage to come and face that lady with the dead body of my friend so actually speaking i chickened out i can see probably 10 bodies like this 
but i can't see you know even one family you know without uh, this car someone has been martyred so it was not acharya's loss because it was acharya to wo to moksha prapt kar gaya wo to bahut upar nikal gaya it was his gain all the way his gain all the way his gain i am really not uh, for a not even a no, moment i am telling that uh, uh, that bicharapan which people you know uh, he no no he was he is very very fortunate it is if this loss is there it is the loss of the people whom he leaves behind achi is gone ahead he is way ahead he is very very fortunate and lucky yeah and when and the second incident which is obviously like kind of the same thing when i got shot a year later so yeah so many things go wrong uh, you think at that time uh, i won't say all the moment but yeah for a moment yeah that thing came that archi buddy i'm coming so tu aage nikal gaya but i'm following you i'm not too far too way behind uh but theek hai it was yeah, i wasn't as probably fortunate as him uh to have achieved that um, but theek hai maybe so that's what it is so that yeah my thing changed me because uh, coming back to and i'll try and take that uh, incident like coming back to my thing is that it was a great experience having undergone that moment when i got injured you know because that moment entire moment moment i got shot from there till the time i survived you know uh it was uh, i had i had not that i haven't i was i was not struggling to keep myself alive i had accepted it as my fate and uh, uh, i had accepted it as my fate okay, this is what it is and let me in- experience what it is so i i don't know the entire journey of how it goes of death but yeah part of it i've lived it i've lived the journey of death and it is a very very beautiful journey let me tell you ladies and gentlemen so it's not all that scary that people make it to be you know as if death is a very bad thing it is a wonderful thing and why should it be a bad thing if you look at it you know if you compare if you, everybody talks about truth uh, that uh, you know t- love it, uh, truth is love and love is truth and all those things are written everywhere so if you're talking of truth there is if if you got to single out only one truth from all the things that are there in this world and the universe i think it is only death you tomorrow there could be something you know maybe the universe gets disbalanced maybe the the the, the planets collide i'm just putting a hypothetical figure so we are not even sure of the sunrise tomorrow right it may happen may not happen you know but this one thing that is definitely going to happen is death so the biggest truth that we have is death and if death is the biggest truth that is there so why should we be all scared of it and why should fear it we should uh, if truth is love so we should be actually looking forward to it uh, looking forward to it and there's nothing to be scared about uh, death it's something like because children are there i'll, exp- I'll try and explain put it very simplistically is that uh, you know you if you do your job well in the entire uh, student as in your student life pure saal agar aap theek se padhai karenge so you're actually not scared of your exams so you're actually looking forward ki ma'am kal lete ho aaj hi le lo अगले हफ्ते क्यों एग्जाम है आज ही खत्म करो ना आई एम सो प्रिपेयर्ड आई बीन डूइंग माय जॉब एज अ स्टूडेंट वंडरफुली तो मेरा आज ही खत्म कर दो ना सो बट इफ नॉट देन यू आर स्केयर्ड ऑफ दैट एग्जाम कब आएगा अरे भगवान मैम थोड़ा और दिन थोड़ा और दिन थोड़ा और दिन और दे दो चार दिन मैम एग्जाम पोस्टपोन कर दो सो दैट इज द फीलिंग सो सिमिलरली इफ यू डू योर कर्मा एज वेल इन योर लाइफ यू नॉट स्केयर्ड ऑफ दैट only when you don't do your karma as well you are actually scared of that because the moment of death you will be the, the, the karma that you have lived into your right entire life will stay true. straight into your eyes straight onto your face puri zindagi aapne shayad dusron ko taal diya hoga apne oratory skill se argumentative skill se zid se kuch nahi hota ye nahi hota wo nahi hota but in the moment of death they will be you can't argue you, you know you may be you may have the greatest control over any language or oratory skills intellectual skills whatever nothing will work if you have a bad karmas it will stay right in front of your face and you will have to accept it and feel bad and guilty about it you cannot argue and if you got good you will feel damn good man you will feel damn good so live your life well do your karma as well you will feel you will and you know i'm not telling but then you will not be scared of exam so you will not be scared of death it's a truth so we'll all go for go ahead and live that thank you so much sir for sharing all these anecdotes with us and i'm sure children will also learn from this that be righteous in whatever you are doing be truthful and before we move forward i would request the tech team to play an audio clip for us
इतिहास जिसके गर्भ से उदय होता है भविष्य का सूर्य भविष्य जो परिणाम है इतिहास में गढ़ी परंपराओं का और परंपराएं जब हो शौर्य की विजय की बलिदान की तो आरंभ होती है एक गाथा प्रचंड योद्धाओं की मैं एक योद्धा का आरंभ और अंत भी उसका इतिहास भी हूं भविष्य भी गुरु भी हूं और ज्ञान भी कर्म भी हूं और धर्म भी क्योंकि मैं धर्म चक्र हूं योद्धा धर्म चक्र योद्धा धर्म चक्र दैट वॉज ट्रूली इंप्रेसिव एंड थॉट प्रोवोकिंग सर एंड बाई नाउ आर ऑडियंस मस्ट हैव रियलाइज दैट इज सर्स वॉइस इन दिस ऑडियो क्लिप एंड माई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू सर इज अबाउट दिस अमेजिंगली क्रिएटिव साइड ऑफ योर पर्सनैलिटी वी नो यू हैव क्रिएटेड मेनी पेट्रियाटिक ऑडियो विजुअल क्रिएशन लाइक डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज एंड पोट्री and all of them conceived written narrated and directed by you so how did you manage to keep your interest alive along with this tough life of being a soldier actually it is easy to easy to do these things only as a soldier because you know ye to outcome is only when you have an input the input uh, has to be very very uh, you know divine and purely and uh, there's no better place than being a soldier to experience that divine Uh, as far as i am concerned matlab uh, for me it is being it's only because i was a soldier that i would experience other people yeah they have they must be having their own ways but for me it was that and uh, i personally feel like i told you when i got injured i felt like kyun matlab i should have uh, but then probably destiny had it way so i always give credit uh, to i owe it to god saraswati ki kripa hui uske baad after i survived the injury to thodi saraswati ki kripa hui kalam mein aake baith gayi vaani mein aake baith gayi और वही लिखवाती हैं मैं कुछ नहीं करता हूँ वही लिखवाती हैं वही वाणी से बुलवाती हैं और वो बोलते जा रहा हूँ जो वो कहती हैं वो मैं करते जा रहा हूँ एंड प्रॉब्ली शायद इसीलिए मैं भी ये सोचता था कभी कभी कि यार मतलब अगर ऑलमोस्ट ले जाकर वापस भेजा है तो कुछ तो प्रयोजन होगा ईश्वर का दे मस्ट बी सम पर्पज दैट ही मस्ट थॉट प्रॉब्ली दिस इज दी दिस इज वन ऑफ दो थिंग्स आई फेल्ट यू नो आई ट्राई एंड ऑलवेज figure out when things don't go your way you probably look back and connect to god and see kya tum what do you want me to do actually you tell me so no to aap kis raste mein mujhe bhejna chahte ho so i keep doing that on and on and off so no we all keep aspiring as ordinary human beings with ordinary minds of more maya ye sahi hai wo sahi hai mere ko ye karwao ye karwao i want to be do this i want to be this and it's not happening it's not happening aap kitna bhi zor laga rahe ho nahi ho raha hai so there are times then you need to connect to god and see kya what do you want me to do if not this then what right so then if you are able to connect properly then you will able to get that message and that's what i got it ki bhagwan ne bola ki beta tere ko ye karna so <laughs> this is what i want you to do and uh, it's all wahi likhwati hai wahi bulwati hai and i keep doing he keeps giving me the opportunities he keep he and uh, i keep moving uh, uh, try and live up to his uh, and uh, the uh, god's expectations and uh, yeah dusra hai ki our country is going through a very difficult times uh, i won't say difficult challenging times so yeah this is a, there is an important there is a challenge there, there is a battle which needs to be fought uh, if you you must have seen uh, if someone has seen my interviews on television and other places and all no the, the anchor keeps ask, asking me you know because there is a video of mine on youtube in which i am seen crying when i was hung, hung wearing my taking off my uniform for the last day and she uh, they keep asking me ki why were you doing so and i keep answering you know when you peeling off your skin it hurts and that's why i had tears then <laughs> so but then they say if if you were so attached to uniform then why did you leave it you know because i left army i still had quite number of years to go uh, all my batchmates are still there in the army so um, i say you know because the battle outside also needs to be fought and the battle outside is the battle of the mind and the perception and the thought about the nation so the battle all goes on uh, i have done my bit as far as i think uh, whatever i could do and the god gave me the opportunity and the battles in that in uniform one can do i thought let me take out uh, whatever it is and bahar ye soch ki ladai hai it's a battle of perception and it's pretty intense there are ulterior motives in the nation outside the nation who wants to who want us to drag us down and uh, uh, being a being the instinct of a soldier that the army gave me i probably always pick up a battle or two 
always I want to be in the midst of a battle and a battle which are worthy of being fought for. Uh, otherwise, life seems so boring and there always have to be a challenge. So once I knew that that was there, so I picked up this part. So let me fight these battles. And I'm determined to keep giving them, uh, you know, uh, giving them my peace of mind and the good peoples and the nations is Bharat Bhumi ki or Matri Bhumi ki. Desh ki awaz mein And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, just uh, keep doing that. And in times to come with all your blessings and good wishes, you will see me doing it even more at a higher scale. Because there's no other way I know to live, you know. Uh, what, do, what else? Ho to gaya matlab. Kitna mangenge? Kya paisa? Matlab, I, 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 I get a pension jo dal roti chal jati You know, and that's enough. Baki to kitna paisa gamana. Ye hai paisa, wo paisa. I could have done so many things. But then, yeah, God has been kind. So this is the battle I'll fight. fight. And uh, soch ki ladai hai. And us soch ki ladai mein ye mata ki kripa hai. Ki ye vichar aate hai. And I'll keep giving it. And keep giving, giving, giving these backs. And all these children. Uh, this is a very challenging time for, even for your life that you're entering. In, for, in the nation's uh, destiny of the nation. We are on the cusp of the, making history. You know, taking a leap uh, into the destiny and becoming the global... Uh, I won't say superpower because that's a wrong word. That is the other countries, you know, other countries of the world, whenever they want to, whenever they're on the verge of taking that leap, they, they intend being superpower. Superpower Hindi mein bolte hai, maha shakti, avishwa shakti. Hamare rashtra ki niyati mein maha shakti banna nahi, maha guru banna likha hai. Hum vishwa guru banenge. Because we are the only nation in this country, in this world, jo puri dunya ko rasta dikhane ka samarthya rakhta hai. Aur kisi mein samarthya hai hi nahi, no? Is Bharat Bhumi ke andar hi wo gyan hai, wo drishti hai, wo vichar hai, wo adhyatma hai. So, yeah, itne dino ke, you know, attack se, uh, I'm talking of the, you know, perception battle and all those things, hum bhi thoda thoda bhool gaye hai. But a um, uh, lot of it we have lost, but nevertheless, I leave it up to you, children. Don't worry. The, the knowledge is out there. Ek baar man laga ke, dharti ke saath jodoge. To sara gyan purana vapas a jayega. To sara adhyatma purana vapas aayega. And because without us, the world is going to be a messy place. They've already, you know, uh, tied the world is getting into a lot of uh, problems. Uh, you know, they were, they, it's all, they've all messed it up. They are messing it up. And no one knows the way. It's only Bharat hai. Bharat bhumi hai rasta dikhai hai. So we just owe it, not for us, but for the entire world that we find the uh, knowledge and the wisdom and uh, you know the cosmic law that we mastered once we are still the master of that so yahi se dharti ka udgam hua tha you know dhuri jo hai bharat bhumi se hi start hua tha and ye hamara bhi daitva hai aur aane bachche jitne sun rahe hain ye aapka daitva hai ki na sirf apne aap ko aap gyan se prajwalit kare balki puri duniya ko aap marg dikhaye lekin pehle aap andar jhaank kar dekhe aapke andar yahan par is desh ki mitti mein bahut sara gyan hai bahut sara rasta hai and it is from that end point of view that I'm doing whatever I'm doing, whatever I can do, I'll keep doing it. I don't know whether it, it is good enough or not, but yeah, I try and keep raising that bar as high as possible. And it's good that there are opponents. So life shouldn't be easy. Challenges are So bigger the challenges, bigger the opponents, harder the adversaries. It's always, it feels good, you know. So bring it on, man. We'll fight. We'll fight. Whatever thoughts you yes, may throw sir. at us. Thank you. Yeah. So children... Along with sir, we also have to dream so that Bharat becomes Vishwa Guru. It is strongly believed our flag doesn't fly high because the wind moves it. It flies high with the last breath of each soldier who died protecting it. And what such soldier was Major Padmapani Acharya. You have already shared the moments that you shared with him, but we would certainly like you to share a few more memories of him as you have. When was the first time you met him or also how long was your association with him, sir? The first time I met him was when I went to do my SSB uh, interview for the army selection. So I landed up the platform, Bhopal railway station, and it is there that, uh, you know, uh, all of us, a lot many uh, candidates were there loitering around, trying to, to being collected at one place, Japarbo. it was nominated that please report at this place. And uh, it is at that place that this gentleman walks in, tall man, he was with a moustache and a crew cut haircut and you know, he was wearing a jacket kind of a thing, which was like an army thing and all. You know, we all mistook him to be one of the officers from the SSB who's here to judge us. And we all got scared, you know. All those guys with any amount of uh, background with an NCC or anything who knew about of Savdhan Vishram, they started coming in Savdhan. Ki aagi, ab ye se judge, judge karna start kar raha hai. And, uh, and he had a what, terrific, what oratory voice. 
commanding voice, you know. Uh, so he came and she said, hi, hello, I'm Archie. That was my first. It's a long story, very interesting story. Uh, so it is from there then uh, we started. It took us 25, uh, 24 hours to re- finally accept. The next day, uh, to cut the story short, when the next day we all were told to come in uh, half pants and t-shirts, and uh, our chest numbers were given to us. It is only at that time we began to accept that Otherwise, that man kept us terrified throughout our night because he kept and slept amongst our barracks. Firstly, we got terrified when he boarded our bus. We thought he will be a jeep or a jonga. He will be able to go to the bus. So, we will be able to go to the bus. Then, we will be able to go to the bus. Then, we will be able to go to so a lot of us slept in Savdhan throughout, throughout our night because we knew that an officer is sleeping here next to us. But next day when, yeah, that was my first meeting with him. And uh, that was my first meeting. But for, and it is at that batch that a couple of us got, got selected. And unfortunately, uh, one thing, uh, but closer we came because my chest number was, was next to him. So I was 12, he was 13. So that is uh, how we were. So whenever we were doing all those tasks, so we were together. Destiny brought us together 12, 13. So we were doing that. Ek thi. In Drew, maybe it was my first and we were group tasks, we were doing and we were doing all those things. We were doing it because we were next chest numbers. And in Drew, mein, I went in and I came out and I felt okay, my not going and all. So I came out all the best, but you go in and all. So, but when again, then the result was being announced, uh, you know, so we were all sitting. Obviously, I was 12, he was sitting behind me 13. So they were the, the instructor told that okay, I'll read out the numbers who were got selected. So this was my third attempt. So generally, numbers as he select with chest number two, chest number five, chest number eight, and you know, the, between two chest numbers are all there four or five people who are missing who've not made it. So what did uh, he did is uh, he told chest number 12, and I couldn't believe because I wasn't sure. I was I was very, very sure. I was I was actually sure of only two results there. That one is mine that I'll not get selected, and another is Archie, he will get selected. So the moment I was told that chest number 12, I was kind of hesitating. Am, am I getting selected? What? And the moment I was like thinking and I, was, I had got up, I, we were told, Jiska bhi number bolenge, khade ho jana. so I just got up halfway when he told chest number 13. So I thought the, he is correcting himself, you know, like both 12, no, 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 13. So I began to sit down and then he gave me a whack from behind. Khade ho ja. You also got selected, buddy. So that was the first meeting. And uske baad, last I've already told you. And we trained together in the academy. We were the same company, same platoon. We became same buddies. We became buddies. So, you know, uh, you train together. So if they're told, get into a pair, one, ek banda dusre ko uthao. So either he carried me on his shoulders, I carried him on his shoulders. So there were two people get together, dig a trench. So whenever that happened, we both dug a trench together, <laughs> shouting at each other, taking our frustration, each other, that's my bari. Hai, bari hai. And uh, yeah, then uh, we had an entire tenure together after uh, we had families and Charu Kesat, uh, we spent an entire tenure together in Gwalior. And, uh, and there, and uske baad se then uh, he went, uh, we went to, I went to Harar, he went back to Kashmir. And uh, yeah, after that, after Gwalior, when we parted, uh, it was the mortuary that I met him again. That's the last. Thank you. Thank you, sh- thank you so much sir, for yeah, sharing all these beautiful moments with us. Sir. Yes. On a lighter note, can I ask uh, Amrapali or Charu or Lieutenant Colonel to talk about how uh, Major Padmapani met Charu? Let's make it a little lighter for the children. It's so heavy. <laughs> I'll tell that in case she is hesitant. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell that in case she is hesitant. Otherwise, if she wants, she can go ahead. Charu Lata, do you want to say? Or Amrapali, who's going to talk? Or I would love for Charu to talk about it. Charu <laughs> only, <laughs> so she should be doing it. <laughs> you talk, not me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I can tell you, I can tell you when he came home what he did, because that okay. was me. But she will have to tell you how they met. That is on her. But when he came home. He came with the, you know, we have the gotras and all that are there. So he he had written on a piece of paper. One minute. Amrapali, we'll do one thing. We'll ask uh, Lieutenant Colonel to talk about the first part. The second part, you can tell. Sure. Go okay. ahead. O- over to Lieutenant Colonel. If, if you know the whole truth, then nothing but the truth. Go ahead. I don't know. You judge it for me. If, if I'm wrong, if, if it is not, you add it up, you know. 
if there is something <laughs> incomplete in that. So <laughs> Charu had gone to probably Bhopal, correct me, Charu, I think Bhopal or some Jabalpur, I think. She had gone to Jabalpur to meet her play, play, uh, uh, relatives and she is from Tamil Nadu, absolutely like Hindi LA types. Uh, she was at that time. <laughs> So simple uh, girl uh, from Tamil Nadu and she had gone to meet her relatives at Jabalpur and she was coming back in a train and uh, Archie, uh, Acharya used to happening to be coming back in the same train, same compartment and uh, on leave. So I think Sharu was uh, with her grandmother or some grandmother, if I'm right, and she needed something and uh, she, the shy, you know, Sahimi, who is he, Larki, or North India ke bindas wale mahal se waisi wo hili hui thi bichari to she was trying to go to the pantry and in the pantry there were all biharis like me so they and they were using all kind of pleasantries in their languages towards each other and she really got scared ki main andar jaun kaise baat karu hindi aati nahi hai what do i do and that is where that uh, the gentleman happened to see her and uh, he probably offered to help her. And uh, he went, uh, probably helped her. And again, it is courtesy that man, you know, uh, I, he exactly knew what he wanted in life. Itna clear mein aadmi zindagi mein dekha nahi. What he wanted from profession, what he wanted from life, what he wanted in his spouse. He was so damn clear. It didn't take him too much of a time. In a glimpse, he knew that this is the girl. Right. And but then, you know, you must have seen so many, you must have read so many novels and so many movies you must have seen as to how a man proposes to a girl that he wants to. But I'm still telling you, nobody in this world, you know, because in the when you do a novel or a movie, you have the freedom to create, even if it is not realistic. You can create the most romantic and the most better way of doing it. But I, nobody in this world is able to, able to dream uh, a proposal in as dignified as a manner that the man actually did. The man actually did. So the most dignified thing he did is that he didn't want to embarrass the girl. All that he did is he wrote on a piece of paper his own number and he gave it to this girl and he told that, can you just go back and call me? He didn't say anything. He didn't want to embarrass that girl because he knew how simple she is. Uh, she can't be doing all those uh, things that, you know, please, yeah, all those things he was. So you, all that he gives is, I want you to go and give back uh, this. And don't worry, I'll not be picking up the call. So it will be someone else from my family who will be receiving the call. All I want you is to go back and give a call on this number. And then he went home. She went to her place and she, he went home and from there on Amr Pali can take on as to what happened if I'm right. You can add if, if there's anything that I've left. I'm sure you got everything correct. <laughs> so he comes home and he says that, you know, I've uh, met this girl and what does this, what does this go through mean? I mean, you know, uh, having been born and brought up in a um, in a family, when I say my father was from the Air Force too, so we knew very little about our own, you know, culture, and you know, the, the culture was more of everybody was just just another that's person. Sense. That is it. There were uncles and aunties, and you know, that's it. So when he he said, "This is a gotram," <laughs> do you know what it is? I said, "I know what's mine," and uh, then he says, and I said, "Yeah, hamara gotram nahi that much I'm sure." So I want to get married to her. I said, what are you talking? You, you can't get come with one gotra in a piece of paper and say, I want to get married to her. Mommy said, baat kar le. So I, so I said, just, just give me some time. He just entered. He just entered. I mean, he got in from the door and this is what he told me. And oh, just after we had finished all our hugging and everything and he comes and says this. And um, so then I went and told my ma mother about it. And, uh, and then in the evening, Charu called up and the rest is history. I mean, she's... Uh, um, you know, in hindsight, if I if I if I think about it, uh, God has His own way of doing things, uh, putting things in people's mind. It was it was that need, it was that sense that He had that He probably wouldn't be wouldn't have too many years left, and He needed somebody who would fit into the family so well. And in that in that meeting of a few hours that they had, He knew that she would blend in with the family better than anybody else could have ever done. And uh, and it's so true. I mean, if uh, he he left uh, six years post that, and uh, just see, you know, he's she she is my family. Actually, I think I'm I'm closest to her than I am to anybody else. And uh, 
she's she's given us this beautiful gift of uh, aprajita who is uh, who makes life we gone through new it is going to be like and there was this premonition i think every soldier probably has it um kanil manoj can probably say that that you know all of all the soldiers i know always have that little thing that kuch bhi ho sakta hai and you know god forbid something happen but i'm sure they're always prepared they're so prepared that they're always planning and he had planned it um and that is that's that's the thing about him he took decisions he knew he had to do it he did it that's it you know there was nothing i mean i i won't say it was a big you know bollywood style <laughs> movie happening romance ho raha hai ye ho raha hai kuch nahi nothing he went he knew this fits in he did it because that was what is important for him as a person to have this kind of a person in his life for as long as he lives and for this person to be part of a family that he's going to be leaving behind um so i think that's what i i i i can add into thank you thank you amrapali thank you ms amrapali thank you sir no i'll uh, i'll agree with the amrapali one on one thing that he probably knew everything and he was blessed by god that whatever he wanted whatever he said happened and i wondered i had, I had spent so much of time we used to you know talk about so many things and you know when you are young guys the one of the grave, most mostly talk thing is what do you want in life at that moment and he used to talk so many things and he was so damn clear and then when this thing happened when he left i kept on I kept into my memory trying to dig it back that why did he never ever thought ki i i had even ever dreamt or spoken a moment post you know he had he like my daughter was born when we were in gwalior she was a baby he used to look at my daughter and tell you know i and he used to do little tell charu also you know hey charu mere ko aisi beti chahiye you know so he knew aisi beti chahiye he had that uh, he had that dream and it happened but now i wonder when it happened later on when he wasn't more ki agar usne ye bola hota ki mujhe aisi beti chahiye mujhe usko khilana hai मुझे उसे स्कूल ले जाना है मुझे उसको कॉलेज ले जाना है मुझे उसे पढ़ाना है अगर उसने बोला होता तो वो होता पता नहीं उसने क्यों नहीं बोला ये सब शायद वो जानता था गॉड एंड इस डेस्टिनी बस वहीं तक बोला उसने कि एक बेटी ऐसी चाहिए इसके आगे बोला ही नहीं उसने कभी मेरे से भी बात नहीं करी यू नो ऐसा करूंगा वैसा करूंगा लाइक वी ऑल की चाइल्ड है तो चाइल्ड के साथ के सपने भी देखते हैं ना पूरे ही एड ओनली ड्रीम कि मुझे बेटी चाहिए उसके आगे का उसने कभी देखा ही नहीं। ही ही न्यू न्यू एंड थैंक यू एंड आई एम सो सॉरी चारू एंड आम्रपाली इफ वी आर मेकिंग यू गो थ्रू दैट होल मेमोरी इट्स नॉट इजी वी हैव बीन सेल्फिश इन पुटिंग यू देयर ऑन अ स्पॉटलाइट एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट द टफ टाइम्स दैट यू हैव टू फेस इट्स नॉट इजी Ranjita ma'am I just want to share one thing adding up to Colonel Manoj Sinha and Amrapali that as he said you will not believe before he left for his field post that time he will not decide like no he would be part of war he told his mom mom he or she you will decide the name and you and papa will look after the baby and he told his sister lichi i don't know you have to he calls her lichi you have to look after my baby don't I said, "You're going to be the father." No, I will not. You people have to look after. I don't know what made him say the words that after Aprajita is born, the name was given by my in-laws, my mother-in-law, and Amrapali held her as a father portion first. The life is that journey, that emotion. Life is continuing. I'm not the only mother for her. Like you know, it's we bro- growing her up, going up with her, not bringing her up, growing up with her as a. mother like na both the mothers yeah <laughs> uh can i uh, quote a, a few lines for uh, charu no not only charu for all those uh, ladies who are left behind by martyrs i can i narrate a few lines in the in honor of them sure sir yeah so in the army when uh, all these uh, martyrs then they go off so their family their, their wives are called as veer nari right so what i'm narrating now is in honor of those all those people because we all keep talking of those heroes uh, right so but this poem will tell you what these veer naris are uh, it's a poem that i've written uh, you know 
आई कॉल इट संघर्ष थोड़ा बहुत संघर्ष तो हम सभी के जीवन का हिस्सा है किंतु किसी किसी का तो मानो पूरा जीवन ही संघर्ष का किस्सा है वो भी एक युद्ध था वो भी एक युद्ध था उस दिन उन्होंने जो किया था ये भी एक युद्ध है हर रोज जो आप किया करती है उनके इस युद्ध में उनके उस युद्ध में उस दिन जीवन का बलिदान हुआ आपके हर रोज के रोज के युद्ध में मानो बलिदान ही जीवन हुआ आहुति दी उन्होंने लहू की आहुति दी उन्होंने लहू की और अपने प्राणों की आहुति आप दिया करती हैं अपने स्वार्थ की अरमानों की कहते हैं हम उन्हें वीर कहते हैं हम हम उन्हें वीर और आपको वीर नारी ऋणी हैं हम उनके किंतु आपके आभारी वंदनीय है वो वंदनीय है वो किंतु आप उज्जनीय हैं उन वीरों को है सलाम किंतु हे वीर नारी आपको शत शत प्रणाम शत शत प्रणाम thank you sir for putting in such beautiful words for them yes completely agree with you we are aware that you have also earned the gallantry award of sena medal and battle injury in an intense counter terrorism battle in kashmir sir we would like you to share those moments of operation with us what was your feeling when you were injured and the reaction of your family uh, running through the whole incident sir of kashmir i want my children to listen to that <laughs> Uh, I think uh, one minute. Children, mm. I know it would be a very heavy uh, topic to listen to, but we are all strong people, brave people, and we have a. You all have a big future, an amazing future to make changes to this country. And whenever you do that, you have to remember all these inspiring speakers, isn't it? Over to you, sir. B. Yeah. Right. Uh, incident was something like. Uh, um and should i narrate another poem which is yes. associated with that will be easy for me you know uh, i'll tell you battle kya hua wo to alag baat hai but after the battle happened and when i was going through those moments of uh, uh, living my moments of death and when i survived that so as i told you in the big, uh, in beginning that uske baad saraswati ma ki kripa hui aur vaani mein baithi aur kalam mein baithi so the first thoughts that uh, which came in the form of a poem is what i'm telling you now so you know everybody you know um, everybody talks about that battle when jab bhi ladai ki baat karte hain ek sipahi ki baat karte hain to har vyakti baat karta hai wo jo ladai ladta hai sipahi shatru ke sath bam patake goliyan wagaira chal rahi hain log ghayal ho rahe hain khoon beh raha hai but there's another battle with lot of people fight but archie fought uh, or everybody you know and that is when you get injured very seriously injured then you begin to fight death a very few people very few of them survive to be able to you know explain that battle with death and even if people have survived not everybody is um, uh, spoken outspoken like me who can come and talk about it wo sab apne andar hi rehte hain uh, they decide not to divulge and i'll try and explain that as to how it is uh that moment so i'll this is a poem uh jisme ye i'm comparing these two deaths uh, sorry these two battles the one the battle that you fight with the enemy aur jo hum shatru se ladte hain aur dusra mitra se ladte hain to goli lagne ke baad kya hua ek ladai khatm hui ek ladai khatm hui dusri shuru wo ladai shatru se thi ye ladai mitra se hai wo ladai samman ki thi ye ladai pran ki hai लड़ाई वो भी थी मुश्किल पर ये थोड़ी ज्यादा है युद्ध हो और खून बहे युद्ध हो और खून बहे सेना में आम कहानी है पर आज बारी है मेरे खून से इस धरती की प्यास बुझानी है विश्वास हमेशा रहता था विश्वास हमेशा रहता था हर युद्ध जीत कर आऊंगा पर आज लग रहा इस युद्ध में कौन सा युद्ध जो मृत्यु से लड़ रहा हूं पर आज लग रहा इस युद्ध में शायद ना जीत पाऊंगा एक लड़ाई खत्म हुई दूसरी शुरू लड़ाई वो भी थी मुश्किल पर ये थोड़ी ज्यादा है उस युद्ध में मैं जवानों से कहता आगे बढ़ो प्रहार करो उस युद्ध में मैं जवानों से कहता आगे बढ़ो प्रहार करो इस युद्ध में वो मुझे कह रहे हैं तो जवान जो मुझे उठा के भाग रहे थे इस युद्ध उस युद्ध में मैं जवानों से कहता आगे बढ़ो प्रहार करो इस युद्ध में वो मुझे कह रहे 
साहब थोड़ा इंतजार करो लड़ाई थी वो साहस की लड़ाई थी वो साहस की और थी वो शौर्य की लड़ाई ये भी साहस की है पर ज्यादा है ये धैर्य की एक लड़ाई खत्म हुई दूसरी शुरू लड़ाई वो भी थी मुश्किल पर ये थोड़ी ज्यादा है प्राणों की बाजी लगाकर प्राणों की बाजी लगाकर लगाकर शत्रु पर जो वार किया शत्रु को तो मार दिया पर बाजी शायद हार गया लड़ाई वो भी थी एक ऑपरेशन जो बैटल को भी हम ऑपरेशन बोलते हैं आर्मी में लड़ाई वो भी थी एक ऑपरेशन और लड़ाई ये भी होगी एक ऑपरेशन जो हॉस्पिटल में होगा अब लड़ाई वो भी थी एक ऑपरेशन लड़ाई ये भी होगी एक ऑपरेशन एक लड़ाई खत्म हुई दूसरी शुरू लड़ाई वो भी थी मुश्किल पर ये थोड़ी ज्यादा है पर मुझसे ज्यादा मुश्किल पर मुझसे ज्यादा मुश्किल मेरे घर वालों की कथा थी पर मुझसे ज्यादा मुश्किल मेरे घर वालों की कथा थी मात पिता पत्नी बच्चे बड़ी भारी उनकी व्यथा थी एक उनकी आंखों का मैं एक अकेला तारा था मैं ही उनकी दुनिया था मैं ही एक सहारा था लड़ाई मेरी थी मुश्किल पर उनकी थोड़ी ज्यादा थी उनकी थोड़ी ज्यादा थी उसके बाद है कि आंख खुली ऑपरेशन के बाद की बात है आंख खुली एहसास हुआ जीवित था ना विश्वास हुआ वहां पर मेरे सीओ साहब खड़े थे और डॉक्टर भी खड़े थे जब मैंने आंख खोला तो आंख खुली एहसास हुआ जीवित था ना विश्वास हुआ सीओ साहब बोले तुम वहां लड़ाई जीत गए डॉक्टर साहब बोले तुम यहां भी लड़ाई जीत गए एक लड़ाई खत्म हुई दूसरी शुरू लड़ाई वो भी थी मुश्किल पर यह थोड़ी ज्यादा है लड़ाई चल रही है मैम टेम्प्ट to redefine masculinity gillet the personal grooming brand from american corporation procter and gamble released the brand's campaign under the best man can get tagline featuring lieutenant colonel manoj kumar sinha the gillet ad based on his life was hugely successful the world over it got shortlisted shortlisted at cannes we have a video of the ad with us and i would like our audience to watch this that's the toughest man i know Air Force veteran Bishwanath Sinha, my dad. I remember as a child I was chased by an angry bull, and I ran straight towards him, crying. He held me in his arms and said, "Wipe those tears off. You are a man." I guess I stopped crying because I wanted to be like him, tough and strong. So no matter how hard you've taken a hit, no tears. And so I hid. I hid my pain like Dad would want me to. I did not want him to see my wounds that I am weak I was being a man But this time he didn't ask me to wipe my tears off that moment changed it all that's the day we both realized that showing what you really feel doesn't make you less of a man raising a strong boy also meant telling him it was okay 
it was okay for boys to cry. Men can cry. Even soldiers can cry. Because our pain reveals the best in us. That was an amazing video and I appreciate Jeanette for this advertisement. It is the first time that a soldier is brand ambassador of an international brand. Whenever we talk about bravery, it is often shown as a person who appears stoic and doesn't show vulnerability and cry. Whereas you, sir, is known for breaking the stereotype. So what is your take on the so-called popular phrase, men don't cry? Yes, and this is meant for boys. Listen to it. And also for mothers and also for teachers who want to make this Boys and girls, and especially boys, should not cry. You know, we the man invented languages and we started playing with words and phrases and all those things. Like a, you get a new car, so you start driving just for the sake of it. But similarly, we've been playing with words and phrases, and similarly are these phrases like men don't cry. Uh, because we need to make a good phrase to sound good, uh, to you know, to appear to be good speakers and good writers and all we keep inventing those phrases I'm, I'm not all those phrases have any base uh, really any base and this is one of those phrases uh, to sum, or, sum it up you know crying is another emotion but the point is that you know as long as the emotion the thoughts are with the right intention uh, and you are you know every every situation every time uh, every place uh, wherever you are and the situation you are in and the people around, they, they, whichever state they are in, you need to be uh, in the right emotion at every place. And crying is just one of those. Uh, so as long as it is in the right intention, and if you're talking about crying, yeah, if, if it cry, if, if, if tears come out because of compassion, if, if it, your tears come out because of, you know, uh, compassion that you see someone in pain, in a very pitiable state and if tears come out it is absolutely fine because it is the result of the compassion that you have within if tears come out because you love someone very very dearly and you're parting absolutely fine because it is the result of the love that you have for that person so it, it, it could be tears could be coming out of happiness you know suddenly you are you want something very very great which you've been dreaming all across your life and it could be the dream of your parents or all your loved ones and after winning that cup that probably the greatest thing that you want and you face your parents or again so as long as you know all these emotions whether tear or any any other emotion they are in the right spirit with the right intention you know naitik rup se sahi hai adhyatmik rup se sahi hai vaicharik rup se sahi hai please go ahead and express it please go ahead and express it you know like i'll give you in same ek hi situation mein jagah alag alag ho jati hai like i went i, I if you see a comrade's dead body uh, obviously, uh, in the in the during the time of the funeral or uske pehle, uh, and if tears come out, it is absolutely fine, perfectly fine, because it is coming out of the love that you have uh, had for your comrade. But if you are in a battlefield and the comrade next to you, the buddy next to you is uh, died, and the enemy is still fighting, you can't be showing weakness at that moment of time. You cannot be even an iota of weakness or tears. Ki baati chodiye. You need to bash on regardless at that time. उस वक्त आप नहीं आंसू दिखा सकते चाहे आपके तरफ आपके अपने भाई हो वो मर गए हो शत्रु सामने है तब आप आंसू नहीं दिखा सकते बिकॉज़ वो समय गलत है वही उसी अपने उसी साथी के लिए आप आंसू जब उसका दाह संस्कार हो रहा है वहां दिखा सकते हैं उसके घर में दिखा सकते हैं वहां नहीं दिखा सकते हैं लाइक वी ऑलवेज कीप टेलिंग जैसे बोलते हैं वन मैन शुड नॉट क्राई वैसे ही कुछ बोलते हैं यू ऑलवेज कीप स्माइलिंग ऑलवेज कीप लाफिंग लाफ्टर इज द बेस्ट मेडिसिन बट आपके पड़ोस में दिस समवन हु इज डाइड इन योर नेबरहुड and you face that family, should you be smiling at that moment of time? You Should you be laughing at that moment of time? No. It's the wrong, wrong place, wrong timing, wrong situation. So, it's anaitik there. It's anaitik there. It's anaitik there. It's anaitik there. So, this is a need for everything. I said that before, the Vishwa Guru is the knowledge of this. So, everything is a need for everything. 
उसी प्रकार भावनाओं की भी एक नियति होती है उचित स्थान पर उचित मात्रा में उचित रूप से आप उसको बिल्कुल प्रकट करें वो बहुत ही अच्छा लगेगा गलत स्थान पर करेंगे तो देन वो फिर गलत लगेगा वेदर इट इज टीयर्स वेदर इट इज लाफ्टर इवन एंगर फॉर दैट मैटर एंगर दिस इज एवरीथिंग इज बैड वन शुड नॉट एक्स एंगर कभी नहीं आना चाहिए बट यू गोइंग विद डॉटर यू गोइंग विद वाइफ यू गोइंग विद सिस्टर एंड समबडी ट्राइज टू डू यू नो अन अल्टीरियर थिंग विद दैट लेडी एंड इफ से नो आई एम काम एज पीस मुझे गुस्सा आ ही नहीं रहा है कम ऑन मैन बोलशिट उसको वहीं फाड़ दो यार क्रोध आना चाहिए आवेश आना चाहिए Anger is required. If you are not doing it, then you are wrong. That is what Krishna told Arjuna. Compassion did not appear in Arjun. Arjun, uh, Arjun started showing compassion in a battlefield. What benefit? How many people will die? The blood will be bad. People will be widowed. Come on, man. The Dharma is in front of you. Pick up your weapon. Fire, man. Fight. This is not the time to show compassion. So even compassion at the wrong place is wrong. Anger at the wrong place is wrong. Anger at the wrong place is wrong. And all these emotions at the right place shown at the right place is wrong. Anger at the wrong place is wrong, and all these emotions at the right place shown at the right, irrespective of gender, irrespective of gender, as long as they are at the right place, right time, with the right intention, right? It is absolutely fine. Go ahead and express your emotion, and that is what it is. We are not stones. We are we are human beings, my damn it. So we are human beings, and we have emotions, and as long as those emotions are right, uh, as I told you, it is absolutely fantastic. Whether you are men or women, please go ahead and express yourself. It, if if tears need to come out, you must come out. it will always make you look very very good beautiful and wonderful if it comes at the right place and in the right manner you will look very very handsome and smart if you if for a moment even if i take tell the boys there you will there's no better you know expressing your emotions in the right way at the right place is the most surest way of making you look very very handsome if you want to be that so please go ahead and look handsome please go ahead and express your emo- emotions right place right time right manner and you're going to look very very good be cool about it ये वर्सेस की लड़ाई हम लोग बना देते हैं क्योंकि हमें चर्चाएं चलानी है डिबेट चलाना है डिस्कशन चलाना है वन थिंग नो विद दिस आई टेल ऑल दिस चिल्ड्रन यू नो ये जब से पिछले एटलीस्ट सेवन साठ सत्तर सालों में जब से पश्चिमी विचारधारा हमारे बीच आई है जब से हमें किताबें बेचनी है विचारें बेचनी है शोज बेचना है तो हम न वर्सेज डाल देते हैं हर चीज में ना यू मस्ट एव हर्ड एन पॉपुलर प्रोग्राम कॉल्ड मैन वर्सेज वाइल्ड यू मस्ट एव हर्ड दैट टॉपिक शुड इट बी मैन वर्सेज वाइल्ड वट इज वाइल्ड वाइल्ड मीन्स नेचर should it be man versus nature is there a competition should there be a competition between us and nature can we with that spirit with we and nature in a conflict can we survive can we make this world and earth a better place no we all complement each other man and that is what our ancestors told because we are incomplete human beings we aren't involved so when we go to nature we feel like it is against us राइट right? हमें कुछ संघर्ष करना पड़ेगा ये वन जो है ये नेचर जो है ये हमारे अगेंस्ट है वी नीड टू फाइट दिस सरकमस्टांसिस बट हमारे इस देश में हमारे ऋषि मुनि जो इवॉल्व थे एब्सोल्युटली यू नो एट द हाईएस्ट लेवल ऑफ बीइंग दे यूज्ड टू बी पार्ट ऑफ दैट नेचर उसी जंगल में तो रहते थे ऋषि मुनि उनका तो कभी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट नहीं लगा इनफैक्ट इट वाज द जंगल व्हिच कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड देम टू रीच दैट स्पिरिचुअल हाइट्स व्हिच दे वांटेड जो कि यहां नहीं हो पा रहा था Similarly, they created another narrative. This Western thought process: men versus women. Why? We are here to complement each other. Don't get into that debate. You know they will try and drag you into that debate. Men versus women. No, we are pure. 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 in every sphere they are trying to do that this caste versus that caste this faith versus that faith don't get into that wo aap usme chale gaye even if you win a debate so what you got into the debate of a man versus woman and you as a woman have won the debate so know that man jisko aapne de- haraya hai it could be your brother it could be a father it could be a husband no can you live peacefully coexist with that man peacefully if you debate if you defeat that woman in a in that argument that you have as to who is good and who is bad no can you uh, coexist happily peacefully with that woman if you won that debate moment you get into this or thought process of versus you are a loser even if you have begun so that is my humble request to everyone please never ever get into this thought process there is an entire industry because only by creating that versus narrative that novels will sell that movies will sell that debates will happen and all they are in the, the, the entire 
thing is into that you know industry of creating that kind of a debates so please don't get into that kind of a narrative hum sab ek dusre ke purak hain hum ek dusre ke sahayak hain hum ek dusre ko saath leke chalne wale hain we are because of each other and not against each other ye in every sphere of life not only men versus women versus every debate you know bada bhai matlab beta hai ki beti hai ek wo debate hai you know who is important father hai ki mother hai ek wo debate hai you know ये कास्ट कास्ट इज आ गया ये कास्ट वर्सेस वो कास्ट आप किस कास्ट आप किसके आप ना ये 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 काम बड़ा है वो काम छोटा है ना उस काम के बगैर आप रह सकते हैं क्या वी मे लुक डाउन लुक डाउन अपॉन पीपल हु क्लीन आर सिटीज एंड होम्स बट टेल मी इफ दिस टुमारो दिस गुड टू बी एन यू नो हड़ताल यू नो स्ट्राइक इन दिटी वेर एवर यू लिव एंड ऑल दो स्वीपर्स गो ऑन हड़ताल हाउ विल बी योर स्टेट the collector of your city if it doesn't come to office for 10 days one uh, one week it will work but this the sweepers the safai karmachari is they don't come onto the roads and dustbins it will not work so how can it become versus them and us so even in a workplaces we uh, the, you know departments are created so divisions are created in the society because it is the requirement to divide work and roles so that is what we do even in a school you have divisions you know ye math department ye science department ye arts department hai but it is because the division of work so that sucharu roop se kaam chale it is not to create a versus narrative science versus arts versus commerce men versus women ye kaam karne wale i work in a hospital so doctors versus nurses the pediatrician versus the heart people cardiologist no it is never please don't get into that whether in a family whether in your personal life whether in the profession that you go people will always be there with vested interest trying to create that narrative of versus never get into that can i tell you something about being brave bravery is not a label that you can fix on to somebody's head that this man is brave this woman is brave no it is not that i'll give you an example i was there in uh, kerala sitting next to the sea with someone in a beach, beach hotel and there was uh, someone who's next uh, the lady was there and she was talking about me she was from civil background she was in awe of my bravery you know aap itne bahadur fauji log kitna brave aapne ye kiya wo kiya wo kiya and about it went over 10 15 minutes then i told that lady look aisa nahi hai yaar i am not brave don't look at it like that it is not that it is about you know uh, she told nahi nahi hum logon se to kuch hota hi nahi hum to dar ke mare ye ho jayenge wo ho jayenge then i looked into the sea and i saw fishermen there the sea was slightly rough there were boats there and you know when the waves were coming out suddenly wo boat bhi nahi dikhti thi because between two waves the boats used to disappear and that fisherman deep into the sea was like jumping around on those waves saas ke saath and i told you know put me into that i'll start shivering dar ke mare meri halat kharab yahan se ho rahi hai yaar ye kya kar raha hai banda wahan par so it is all into the situation i wasn't brave there so it is not a permanent level that i can fix into my head and i told that lady again because there are a lot of ladies and girls listening man i'll tell you that you are as brave as me she told how can no, no, i can never be as you man what do you do that tomorrow you are walking with your child and there are some people you know kuch gunde aate hain and they suddenly pick up your child and trying to kidnap that child and walk away and you suddenly find a pistol next to you what do you do what do you do then kya karoge aap bole marunga boli to maine kaha then that's exactly what i've done what what greater thing that have i done you killed someone who was doing an unethical immoral thing so and bravery is always the result of love so that lady i asked maine kaha you will become brave because you love your child so we are not born or something with koi tag or character nahi hai if we do and we, the soldiers go and display the bravery that they do because they love this country bravery is always the result of an love and compassion that you have it is always a result of that so we know you know in olden times there were rules set for the wars yeah you know that one it's that the war will begin earlier than sunrise and should end exactly by the sunset but which is not exactly being followed in the modern warfare we just curious to know you know how is a soldier's day to day life when a combat operation is going on or a war is going on or how is the day to day life otherwise it is always different because as you told there are no rules today in uh, the enemy has brought the brought the uh, standard moral standards of the battle so down uh, we our indian soldiers have always been in a very you know even today even today that is the biggest dilemma an indian soldier faces because we hum hum sanskaron se bade hue hai na hum jo bhartiya sipahi hai wo sanskaron se bada hua hai ki ye ye sanskar hai ye sanskar vihin hai ye sanskar 
के साथ है नहीं है एंड इट इज स्टिल वी स्ट्रगल विद दैट आर ओन कॉन्शियंस टू फॉल बिलो दैट लेवल बट एनमी सेट दैट लेवल वेरी वेरी लो तो एज यू सेट एक समय था कि शंख बजता था युद्ध शुरू होता था शंख बजता था युद्ध खत्म हो जाता था नारी पे वॉर नहीं करना है द प्लेस इन द टाइम ऑफ द बैटल वॉज डिसाइडेड इट वॉज ऑलवेज चोजन एट दैट टाइम दैट युद्ध जो होगा एक युद्ध भूमि होगा जो कि जहां पर पॉपुलेशन सेंटर से अलग होगा जिससे लोगों को नुकसान ना पहुंचे एंड एंड द पीपल एट दैट टाइम वेर सो कन्विंस्ड अबाउट दीपल बोथ द पार्टी फाइटिंग बैटल दैट दे लिव विल लिव इन द फ्रेम दैट दैट बैटल दैट इफ दे गॉट अवेंटेज पॉइंट स्लाइटली सेफ और डिस्टेंस दे गुड स्टैंड एंड इवन वॉच दैट बैटल क्योंकि उनको पता है कि ना इधर का ना उधर का वो देखने वाला हो सकता है कि इस राज्य क्या हो उस राज्य क्या हो बट कोई भी ओपोनेंट आर्मी भी उस पर वार नहीं करेगा ये पहले की नैतिकताएं होती थी भारत भूमि में युद्ध की ये सारी की सारी नैतिकताएं हम लोग फॉलो करते थे वही नैतिकताएं वही मूल्य आज भी हमारे सिपाहियों में भी है एंड शत्रु जानता है कि आज भी हमारे अंदर वो द्वंद है कि हम उसे नीचे नहीं गिर सकते हैं तभी वो हमारे उस नैतिकता को मुश्किल कर देता है सो वॉट इट डाज इज वन यूर गोइंग इन कश्मीर दिवेमेन अहेड उसको पता है कि भारतीय सिपाही के लिए अभी मुश्किल आ गया धर्म संकट आ गया भारतीय सिपाही से नेचुरली होता नहीं है कि वो औरतों पे हाथ उठाए चिल्ड्रेन हेड यू नो कश्मीर में वो फिर भारतीय सिपाही के लिए धर्म संकट आ गया कि हम अभी भी उसी नैतिकता से बंधे हैं पुराने वाले से कि यार बच्चे पर कैसे हाथ उठाए बट वहां पर वो बच्चों को ही बॉम्ब बना के बड़ा के बॉम्ब बना, बना के आगे भेज देते हैं सो दैट बैटल कीप गोइंग ऑन एंड इन द बैटल फील्ड जहां पर सिविल नहीं है वहां नहीं है वहां तो एब्सोलूटली देर आर नो होल्ड बैट सो देव लोअर देर स्टैंडर्ड एंड सो इट ऑल डिपेंड्स अपन विच बैटल फील्ड यू आर uh counter insurgency is totally different ball game the battery the line of control is a totally different ball game but this 24 hours anything can happen any time can happen uh the battles could be fought in deserts battle could be fought in jungles battle could be fought in mountains in sea you know in mountains with ice with the so uh and you may at times go har har battle ki what i mean to say is every har battle ki alag alag chunautiyan hoti hain like counter insurgency is what i have fought more than any other battle usme kya hota hai at times you go मूव आउट ऑफ योर पोस्ट थिंकिंग मैं अभी जाऊंगा और यू नो आई टेक ए स्मॉल पेट्रोल एंड कम बैक इन टू थ्री आवर्स यू नो आई इंटेंट गोइंग एंड यू नो इतने दूर जाके एंड विल कम बैक एंड सो अकॉर्डिंगली यू डोंट गो थिंकिंग बियॉन्ड दैट उतना ही छोटा मोटा मतलब वट एवर इट इज दो वी आर प्रिपेयर फॉर अनफोर्स इन कंटीजेंसी बट स्टिल दैट दी प्लॉट बट वन यू गो देर यू गेटिंग सडनली गॉट यू नो सग इन टू अ बैटल बिकॉज कोई दिख गया कोई इन्फॉर्मेशन आ गई यू नो आई यूर इन्फॉर्मेशन कम्स ऑन यूर रेडियो सेट यू नो यू आर हियर ओके Uh, so many kilometers ahead of that place in that jungle or in that village there are probably terrorists and you uh, rush towards that spot and you fire the terrorists are there you get into sucked into battle or you start chasing them if they are running and then you all you know that you've gone for two hours or three hours and you come back after three days so the logistically you're not obviously not well equipped you, you're not carrying the kind of logistics for surviving three days uh, maybe it is food maybe it is anything so it becomes very very difficult at that time so though we have our ways and means so but that is the routine we are trying to match up with the uh, you know uh, with their adversaries they keep lowering the standards and we are trying to uh, you know matching up to them ki aap karo wo karo and i of late i think we are doing it pretty well so we of late we are trying it pretty well we have probably learned from uh, what krishna told in mahabharat so you know uh, there was one uh, mahabharat mein when bhishma was lying on his bed of arrows after having been you know pierced with a lot of arrows you know so uh it was probably his last day and then because he had that vardan ki next day uh, he was to leave so very so very and krishna used to go to him every evening so krishna went to him and he told bhishma was slightly um, you know uh, um thodi si shikayat ke laise unhone bola ki you know uh, because he, obviously he knew, he knew everything but he still was feeling bad that his side lost how were wrong they were but this side se aap ladte ho so whatever it is so he told him he uh, now that he told krishna that now that the battle is over krishna now please tell me that uh, now you do you regret the way the battle went on to so krishna bhagwan ne bola ki no what matlab uh, what do you mean to say uh, i didn't fight any battle matlab tha hi nahi yuddh mein na to bhishma ne pitama bhishma ne muskuraya aur kaha ki come on keshav hum bhi jante hain ki yuddh sara tumhara hi kiya dar aaye to bolte hain ki okay theek hai chalo maine kiya hai to what did uh, wrong did i do to unne kaha ki yaar har cheez to aapne galat kiya आपने सबको तो छल से मारा है दुर्योधन को छल से मारा है कर्ण को छल से मारा है भीष्म को मुझे छल से मारा है द्रोणाचार्य को छल से मारा है श्रोथामा को छल से मारा मतलब आप तो सबको छल से मार रहे हो एंड नाउ ठीक है लड़ाई जीतनी थी जीत ली अब द वॉर इज ओवर डू यू रिग्रेट है आप भगवान राम के ही अवतार हो 
भगवान राम जो कि मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम थे और आप तो यार हर बात पे ठका फटाफट चल कर देते हो वो तो नहीं कर रहे थे आर यू द सेम मैन यू नो विद सेम स्पिरिट ऑफ लॉर्ड राम ही टोल्ड की लुक प्लीज डोंट कंपेयर मी विद हिम ही हैड अ डिफरेंट सिचुएशन वो अलग युग में रह रहे थे वो त्रेता युग में रह रहे थे मैं द्वापर में रह रहा हूँ त्रेता युग में उनके सामने शत्रु कौन सा था रावण था उसका खुद की मर्यादा मर्यादा इतनी ऊंची थी कि सीता जब अशोक वाटिका में थी तो वो मंदोदरी को लेके जाता था साथ में और यहाँ पर मेरे सामने शकुनी है दुर्योधन है दुशासन है यू नो लेडी हुज गोइंग थ्रू दो डेज ऑफ अर मंथ उसको बाल से खींच के ला रहे हैं और सबके सामने trying to disrobe her look at the level of morality you know rotten morality that these guys are living with don't expect me to be practicing those standards when the enemy is of these standards you know so probably now we are uh, realizing that and trying to give it back to them in the same coin and now it's hurting them so then when the terrorists were across they were sleeping uh, and when the surgical strike happened they were suddenly surprised ki indians never used to do this no another instance that they, they were uh, deep inside a uh, few hundred kilometers into pakistan actually pakistan they probably didn't believe couldn't believe that ye raat ko andhere mein hai the fighter jets will come and start bombing us so now we are giving going to give it back to them in the coin that they understand in the language and then the manner that they understand we are hitting it back to them everywhere now uh, and uh, we will give to give it back to them and now probably they will regret and never get back at us so but that is what it is the life is difficult uh, every place of life and uh, the logistics we always take it give it a back seat the the fighting capabilities as you must have heard kargil mein kai baar when the soldier was capable of carrying a few loads few kg more he always opted for the ammunition and not for the food and water so that is what it is and every um, it's 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 difficult but then it is very good uh, it is difficult but then kya there can't be a better place than a battlefield that's the best place to be in the world you know as i keep uh, it is in the battlefield i have never been in my life as peaceful as i was in the battlefield i've never ex- i have discovered peace in battlefield i have di- i've understood life in battlefield because of, as you say that if only if you see uh, day that you can understand darkness if you see light you can understand darkness for ordinary mortals jo evolved hote hain rishi muni unki to alag baat hai mere jaisa sadharan logon ke liye that's what it takes you know we need to be shown that to understand this you need to be shown darkness to be understand what is light so for me ordinary mortals like me it took uh, it took me to an experience of death to understand what is life and uh, yeah I, and uh, i experienced absolute peace in it is amongst the battle because peace as i say you know if you understand uh, physics ke teacher honge so what is what what, what is against peace stress hota what is stress if you understand uh, physics means i'll take this cord so if this this cord is taken and pulled in two different directions it is supposed to be there is supposed to be stress right if it is not being pulled there is no stress in this cord so when a man is being man and a man and woman a human being is being pulled in two different directions in a dilemma two different directions in a dilemma kya karu nahi karu then you are always in a stress and even in a soldier's life it happens you know waha jaau yahan jaau waha karu ye karu chutti jaau duty pe rahu but when you are in the battlefield koi stress nahi hota because you know that of all the places in this world this is the place i ought to be i ought to be doing what i am doing right now even at that moment when he is entering the battlefield and he gets a message ki ghar mein somebody has died there is no dilemma at all no dilemma at all that no i need to walk ahead and not behind that is absolutely peaceful state of mind in any other workplace even soldiering if you are sitting in an office and that news comes and there is a uh, the boss says here tomorrow there is an important event you know some general is coming they think yaar wo wala kaam karu ki ghar jaau mere ghar mein log bimar hai so there is a stress at that time could be but yahan par koi stress nahi hai whatever may happen he knew this is the place to be achi knew that my wife is carrying my first child ordinary speaking in an ordinary circumstances i should have been with her but now that a battle is on he was very very clear that this is the place to be of all the places in this world whatever may happen in my personal life in absolute state of peace equanimity that one can experience tapasya karke hazaro varsh lag jayenge this kind of state and equanimity that a soldier have experiences in battle so that's the best place to be in and that is what it is i do not know i have digressed uh from the topic but that's what so when you were talking about the stereotypes you said that the opponents a few of them uh, uh put the women or children in front of them and we value our uh, traditions and ethics and we stop to go against them so should we change our uh, uh, rules and ethics or 
should uh, we try to change them you know uh, there are so many things important in life it, it is not only a battle but in, in your life also you will always come across situations which is ko bolte hain ki dharm sankat hai kyunki ye bhi dharm sangat lagta hai ye bhi dharm sangat lagta hai to uchit kya hai to you must always be sure of that ultimate aim and goal which is there so uske raste mein uske niche ki cheez dharm sangat lage bhi to you can always violate that that is what krishna told arjuna in the battlefield ki tumhara dada hai tumhara guru hai but dharm ki sthapna hona sabse zyada zaruri hai so go ahead it is not immoral so go ahead agar aisi paristhiti aati hai to dharm ki sthapna zaruri hai so if the children and the women are coming into that you know uh, an obstruction to win that uh, you know the dharm yuddh ke marg mein aate hain to so be it unfortunately uh, if we can avoid fine but that is always target uh, you know aim two the aim one is to win the battle so if they come in between and if there are any adversaries who listen to me now or they listen to me in future uh don't have any doubts about it that you can now put us in any, any dilemma we'll cross all barriers of anything we are now absolutely clear we're coming for you we're gunning for you we finish you whatever you moral uh, dilemma you may throw us now because slowly we are also growing up in that matter so there's no dilemma in life also you'll face the situation ye karu wo karu aap shaadi ho jayegi aapki to your husband will say something your parents will if they may something mai idhar jaun udhar jaun this life is all about that how you can negotiate this and you know dharm sang sangat it's always you'll be in a dilemma office jaun office mein bhi bahut important kaam hai tomorrow is a very important day but at the same time you know my child is sick what do i do wo karu ye karu to ye dharm sangat aapka hamesha rahega लेकिन आप यू नो सिद्धांतों पे अगर चलोगे तो हमेशा सिद्धांतों और नियमों मूल्यों पर चलोगे तो यू ऑलवेज कम ऑन डिसाइडिंग ऑन द राइट साइड सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट कम कम एट दैट टाइम यू गो टू स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग दैट एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ टाइम इवन टुडे जब भी आपके पास सिद्धांतों का धर्म संकट थैंक यू डू यू थिंक दैट देयर इज अ लैक ऑफ पैट्रियोटिज्म इन द यंग जनरेशन एंड इफ सो व्हाई आई आई वोंट से दैट देयर इज लैक ऑफ इट आई कीप कमिंग अक्रॉस पीपल हु आर uh even youth and uh, children who have who are very very patriotic it is all about getting disconnected with their values it is it i have always seen if at all whether it is young children or adults if i see lack of patriotism then it is not that he is simply lacking patriotism he or she lacks values so i even often come across uh, people who actually lack patriotism they also lack respect they don't respect even their parents they don't respect their families so it's, uh, it's, it's in, in general a lack of values that they have i uh, you know uh, there was one uh, i don't know whether i should name there was the, the girl in jnu who we all felt that why is she so against the uh, this thing uh, nation why is she itna zeher kyun ugal rahi hai but then after some time it came to know that she was against her own father and her father went to police complaining against her so aisa nahi hai ki usse desh ka samman nahi kar rahi thi she was from kashmir if one wants to find it out wo apne mata pita ka bhi samman nahi kar rahi hai you know she was almost threatening her father that she will get her killed she's got that kind of a contact when he questioned her you know how do you have so much of money in your bank account kahan se aa raha itna sara paisa because obviously those things those money to do all those nefarious activities against the nation were coming from somewhere and she became so agitated that if you don't keep quiet i'll get you killed so what i mean to say is it's not about just simply patriotism you know it it tukdon mein nahi aata hai naitik mulya ki is part mein sahi ho jayega if you are righteous if you are moral if you are ethical everything will come it's not in parts you know it's something like you can't be healthy in parts my hand is healthy and my legs are not healthy you know if you are sick you are sick you know even if you got a nail paining you are sick your hands can't be enjoying the health however healthy they are your legs can't be enjoying the health however healthy they are even if there is a you know small pain in your tooth so the health is a whole, whole holistic thing similarly the values and the cultures that a man or a woman has us is an absolutely holistic thing if they don't lack If they if they are not patriotic, then don't trust that man. For forget about for a moment, forget about keep the nation in the back strap. Har vyakti har wo puru manushya jisme ap desh prem nahi dekhte hain. Children ki baat kar raha hu main. Be rest assured ki he can never be a good husband, good father, good mother, good wife, good brother, good sister. Wo kuch bhi nahi ho sakta hai. It is a total uh, values. so and it all comes as kuch hum mein se uska shikar ho gaye as i told you our adversaries are actually attacking us and the biggest attack today they are doing is the attacking our thoughts our narrative as i told you why i left army i left the army to fight this battle of perception because i know that it has been bombarded upon us and some people of us you know get swayed away by that narrative i've seen some people coming back out of it it is an attack it is like an attack of virus that happens in our body and we we fall sick 
so we again fight to get rid of that body of, uh, virus and become becoming say, healthy again similarly there are a lot of people uh, the who fall uh, to for that virus of anti national thought process that come and but some of them you know given the right kind of advice right kind of guidance from wise people uh, evolved people probably some of them come back also and they will all come back there's no other way uh, but if they don't come out you know they, they are enemies of uh, your country however close uh, they are that is what krishna told arjuna ki wo bolo mere samne dada hai mere samne bhishma hai mere guru hai bola no nothing doing tumhe kuch nahi sochna hai is is rekha ke par jo hai wo adharm khada hai to shastra utha prahar kar sabse pehle var kar ye tera kaam hai to jo bhi agar aapko international dikhta hai chahe wo aapke ghar mein ho wo aapka shatru hai ye aap maan ke chal lena that is about it aur wo desh ka shatru hai jo bhi rashtra ke khilaf hai aur koi rasta hai nahi aapke paas yahi aapka dharm hai hum manav jeevan mein humne jo liya hai us dharm manav jeevan mein aane ka ek hi maqsad hai otherwise we would have you know itni union se guzar ke ki hum dharm ka nirwah kare dharm ka palan kare dharm ko pushta kare aur rashtra dharm usme se ek hai aur maine kaha na naitikta aur dharm tukde mein nahi aati hai ki aap pitri dharm nibha lenge matri dharm nibha lenge rashtra dharm nahi nibhayenge it doesn't work like that it is all or nothing thank you uh, sir a uh, student sindhu from grade 7 she wanted to ask uh, what were your thoughts uh, what were the thoughts going through your mind when you were sent into war no thought you know the situation the, that you are in uh, that is very important the 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 battle situation that you are in there are so many things that need to be done you see so many things that uh, the battle drills that you are taught you trained for you trying to get all those things that i hope we i get all those drills correctly and uh, the more if you are a leader uh, the army mein so the biggest worry that you have is that you men around and you want them all to be coming back safe uh, with the victory under your uh, having you know won the battle but at the same time uh, we want all our men safe that is the biggest priority that you have in your mind and uh, all those things in that particular battle you know logistically are we correct uh, tech, equipment wise are is everything okay reduced kaam kar raha nahi kar raha hathiyar kaam kar raha nahi kar raha small little things you know these are the things they which is actually occupying your mind the terrain and if there is a dilemma as to how do you, if it's already sorted out it's fine if it is a dilemma as to how should you go about the battle the new still thinking ki you know should i go for this plan that plan either say either say either kitne aadmi either kitne aadmi and uh, all those things are actually you know what the nitty gritties of the battle is the primary primarily which occupies uh, yeah if it in the initial first battles yeah yeah there's a bit of uh, butterflies in your stomach because how or hard you are trained uh, how or uh, battle inoculation hum sab ki hoti hai where you are actually made to undergo the fire of uh, face the fire of bullets uh, keeping safety under zone but in shatru se nikli hui goli ka ek alag hi anubhav hota hai so that is always the initial butterflies are there when the first few battles uh, but uske baad once you get used to it then it becomes second nature and actually you are looking for to the sound of the bullets of the enemy because that makes your task actually you know brings a smile on our faces a soldier's face when you hear the sounds of then uh, bullets of uh, of an enemy because your task becomes so easier ki yaar itne din se dhoond rahe the chalo pata to chala ki hai kahan now 80% of the task is done 20% is going to go and go ahead and kill him let's do that तो बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वेन वी आर रोमिंग अराउंड गांव गांव जंगल जंगल घूम रहे हैं ढूंढते हुए कहाँ है कहाँ है कहाँ है दैट इज परसेंट ऑफ आर एफर्ट वेर इट गोज इन सो द मोमेंट वी हियर दिस साउंड दैट या नाउ वी आर इन टू अ बैटल फील्ड वी आर एक्चुअली लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू एवरी प्लेस नो वेन वी वॉकिंग टू अ जंगल वी वॉन्ट दैट प्लेस टू टर्न इन टू अ बैटल फील्ड बिकॉज दैट मीन्स द एनिमी इज देयर मिला चलो गुड नाफ दिस इज वॉट वी आर लुकिंग फॉर पास्ट टेन डेज फिफ्टीन डेज मिल गया इट्स काइंड ऑफ अ लॉटरी बोलते ना लॉटरी लग गई यार दिस इज स्माइल वी ऑल लुक एट ईच अदर एंड दिस इज स्माइल ऑन ईच अदर ईच अदर रिफ्लेस के साथ मिल गया चलो नाउ लेट्स गेट हिम यू नो गेट हिम आउट बाई इज गेट हिम बाई इज नेक इसको निकालते हैं बाहर लेट इज यू नो हिज डेड बॉडी एंड दैट इज वॉट इट इज इससे ज्यादा कुछ नहीं है इट इज इससे ज्यादा कुछ नहीं है दैट्स अबाउट इट गुड मॉर्निंग सर good morning uh, sir i had a question that when you were young soldier at the initial stages was there any time where you had to conform or follow a order to which you did not agree or your ideals did not meet with and in that case how did you tackle the situation uh, take an answer for me not as a soldier but in every walk of life uh, when you get into an organization or in a family when you in the hierarchy of a family in a hierarchy of an organization there will always be people who will be above you right so and uh, when there are orders and advisories and you know ghar mein bol sakte hain ki koi kaam karne ko bola hai bado ne aur office mein ya organization mein bhi ho sakta hai you may get orders keep using your mind 
keep using your mind always keep judging whatever the orders are there because you need to grow up right so if you are if you are at a lower position in your office organization keep judging the way your seniors are giving your orders what is right what is wrong because tomorrow you would be ending up at that place so you need to that is your learning curve but but if there is a time and space and situation you can also seek clarification on the order if you do not if we have time if you have time there will be moments when you there's just no time aag lagi hai no building mein aag lagi hai and your boss says go ahead switch off that first now that is not the time to start arguing sir mere hisab se to you know that that, that no that is not the time so if you have a situation and the time please clarify but if not always go ahead and do whatever is told and even if you see clarification and the clarification that you get is not up to your satisfactory you need to simply follow orders whether in family whether in an organization but for an exception but for an exception if those orders are not unethical if the orders are not immoral otherwise how stupid it may appear to be you know somebody may come you know today i want you to keep the chair on to the table and sit on that and do your work the whole day please go ahead and do that don't question that seek clarification if even after that he says no that's what i want you to do please go ahead and do that right please go ahead and don't don't do dilly dally at that place in family also if your father says something mother says something elder brother sister says something if you want a clarification please say after that if he says even if he doesn't give you clarification you do need to do maine bola isliye kar sakta hai tu karo ja ke chup cha unethical is if your boss says that pick up this chair and go ahead and sell it man and give me money bahar ja isko bech de ye cashier ka paisa rakha hai isko le ja mere ghar pahuncha de now that what he is doing or there are ladies who will be working in our organization somebody may tell you to do something immoral unethical you understand what i mean all the girls and ladies that no no way that no way anaitikta ka jab prashna aayega no way otherwise logic mein zyada dimag mat lagana aajkal ye ek pratha chal padi hai unnecessary ka argument karna if you do that if you still not satisfied kaam karke aaye sir aapne jo bola maine kiya but i still not understood politely go and seek that clarification but otherwise don't argue follow the orders whether army or civil or family please follow the orders don't unnecessarily keep arguing with people right but i'm not telling that keep your mind blind analyze that because you would be in that place and then you would know that when i was given these orders how did i feel so now i am in this situation so i need to remember that lesson you know as to how did i feel when i was across the table so from having learned my lesson from that place i need to you know uh, do right is wrong because moment you come into that place then there will never new inputs that you will come to know so you will weigh the entire decision making through the new inputs jab aap kursi pe baithoge but then that is what it is today you are a child tomorrow you will be a father so when you become a father you remember what your father did whether you liked it or not liked it in a particular situation this is how your father treated it now if you didn't like it then now when you become a father don't do it then but at that moment please take it everything the way it is being told right as long as it is not immoral that is the bottom line right especially for the girls and the women who are listening to me so the, the, kuch bhi ho that you cannot cross it chahe jo keh de bola fir to gala kaat do tum mere gala kaat do i'll not do this right but as long as it is not crossing that it may sound stupid stupid bole na ki nahi aaj tu kursi leke toilet mein baith ja wahan se kaam kar kar wo kaam don't worry right don't it may sound absolute stupid go ahead and do that don't question that matlab question it but if still karna hai to go ahead and do it don't yaar ye kya tarika hai kya aadmi hai kya there must be a logic and i have experience there's no time so many things with my 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 elders in my family told my bosses in my army told i could not understand kya bagwal hai yaar ye kya logic hai and later on it proved to be that yeah he had a point man he had a point which i could not see right i gold you that example when my father told me after 12 please your career is over the way you are going is not right please go ahead and do become whatever you want all your dreams can wait later on when i went into the air force and all those things started and then i knew he was right us waqt i felt he was wrong so but later on it turned out to be right so people have got those wisdoms and all please follow them that is what it is. i hope i have clear first of all it's a uh, great pleasure to meet you and to be able to talk to you because the amount of bravery that you have shown it's something that we have not been able to experience and so um, first of all sir if i would be very much honest to you um 
so at the starting when i knew that you were the one who was about to speak so i, I was first of all very happy that okay a colonel is going to come so i first gone into much more research about uh, who you are what you have done and so let me tell you so it has really inspired me and and that's why i wanted to ask this question sir because i had heard one of your tedx you talk that you had done and so in that as well you have talked in detail about how you have a battle with life and that you are at that margin and at that edge of it because um the, the time when you were shot you had to go to many experiences where you are about to go down but at the same time your teammates helped and at the same time there were uh, um the helicopter came you the and then you were able to reach hospital on time then the doctors took the responsibility so sir, i just want to know from you that so even after you have retired still you have um put up that commitment to go to uh, help the covid hospitals you have started your own battlegrounds in mumbai so sir i want to know that how much emotionally and mentally you have to be strong especially that considering the fact that you had to uh, take an edge of a part of the debt but still you came back with that strength so sir i just want to know that how do you remain that mentally strong even though you have such um, adversities and and you, first of all so you you'll be able to see that almost every day that's that's how it happens especially when you're working in hospitals and when you're in army so so how do you remain that um, emotionally volatile and strong sir your adversity is a choice that destiny throws at you it may throw this way that way bigger smaller the path that i one needs to take is not a choice that i give give it to myself the path always is very very clear for me uh i have been very fortunate as i told you i went through that life and death experience so i know how it felt and i know that death will come again and uh, in every such situation i always want uh, you know way that you know if i don't take this path am i going to feel good when that last moment comes and i knew i knew for sure that you know i when it happened the lockdown happened and uh, i was watching everything on the television screen and the mobile screen as the how it, uh, 2020 when the uh, corona battle happened and then my thought came into my mind that am i going to be watching it on screen or can i do something about it once that thought came into my mind i had to go out and do it but i did not done it when i will die i would have regretted it us din dekho vichar to bhagwan ne dal diya tha uske baad i chickened it out man i would have felt terribly bad man to maine kaha na so us is from that reference point because i know how it will feel and i want everybody to understand that all of you no it it was aaj ki duniya mein bada scary lagta hai maut ki baat kar raha mrityu ki baat kar raha it is ultimate truth so let's accept it we all going to die everybody is going to die you will live maybe 100 200 years but sabko jana hai and always live you know if you understand uh, if you want to die right live right right live right so that is all about so live your life uh, that then you will be have absolutely no dilemma as to what is right and wrong what if you should be sure that you want to be feeling good at that time just i gave you the example of exams if you want to be feeling very good in the examination hall then please do your dharma of as a student as a vidyarthi throughout the year right then that two and a half years one and a half hours ka jo period hota hai it is absolutely bliss it is swargiya anubhav hoga aapko you know every question come on yaar ye to 50 bar padha hua hai agli question are wah ye bhi padha hua ye bhi padha hua ye bhi padha hua it feels so damn good because aapne shastra ka vidyarthi ka dharma ka उचित रूप से निर्वाह किया है उसी प्रकार से जीवन भर यदि आप मानव धर्म का उचित रूप से निर्वाह करते चले जाओगे और यही सब है धर्म की विडंबनाएं बीच बीच में आते रहेंगे करूं नहीं करूं देन व्हेन दैट फाइनल एग्जाम कम्स व्हेन डेथ इज फेसिंग राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू विल फील गुड ले कर्म का सवाल पूछेगा पूछ पूछ वो वाला मैंने सही किया वो वाला मैंने सही किया वो कर्म मैंने सही किया था उस दिन का धर्म संकट फेंका था ना तुमने मैंने सही किया उस दिन भी धर्म संकट फेंका था तुमने मैंने सही किया बोल कौन सा क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा है हर जगह मैंने सही काम किया है नैतिक रूप से वैचारिक रूप से आध्यात्मिक रूप से मैं सही रहा हूं यमराज पूछ क्या पूछना तुझे खोल किताब अपना पोथा आई बीन बैंग ऑन थ्रू आउट माई लाइफ मैन आई फेस दिस एग्जाम बी प्रिपेयर फॉर दैट मोमेंट मैन जीने की कला सीख लो मरने की कला आ जाएगी थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर आई थिंक थ्रू मस्ट है